Hey, I'm Mark Williamson. This is my channel, Age of Exploring. I'm on a solo cross-country trip from Los Angeles, California to New York City to start the Lincoln Highway. I'm taking a zero day here in Manitoba, Manitoba Springs because, well, it's snowing. This video is about the first four days of my adventure. I started uh, on Tuesday, uh, May 18th, I think and uh, blew across the desert to get to Hurricane Utah because riding in the desert isn't a lot of fun when it's warm. Where I stayed at a KOA in Hurricane, um, met Ron, who directed me to the Dinosaur Track Museum in St. George, Utah, which was absolutely fascinating. Uh, and then from Hurricane, or St. George, I went to Bryce, stopping at Zion National Park, Cedar Break National Park, and then when I got to Bryce Canyon, it was a little late, so I set up camp in Ruby's Inn Campground, and for $10 more, I got a cabin, because it has electricity and $10. You know, why, why set up a tent when you can have a cabin? Next day, Thursday, I left Bryce Canyon City and rode to Grand Junction after touring Bryce Canyon National Park. They had no campgrounds. They had... Uh, Nothing that I could, uh, no place I could set up because it was either way too expensive or all booked. A thing that I'm noticing more and more people online are talking about how booked campgrounds are and how much they are. So I stayed at a Super 8 for under $70 and spent the night. The next day I left Grand Junction and was headed to Colorado Springs, or actually Manitou, where I am now. I had made a motel reservation, again, because the campgrounds were booked or really overpriced, like $70 for a campground. I stopped at the Black Canyon of the Gunnison National Park, which I didn't even know existed. Really cool place. And then uh, about 25 miles outside of that, it started to sprinkle. Not a big deal. I could handle that. But then it started snowing. Little drifts of snow. Again, just drifting snow. Not a big deal. The last 100 miles, though, I rode through a blizzard. I couldn't stop because I was in the middle of nowhere. Stopping would have just basically me freezing. So I couldn't do that. Um, I rode the last 100 miles in a sometime whiteout conditioned snowstorm where uh, I could, all I was doing is following the tire tracks of the car in front of me, riding with my emergency flashes on and going about 45 miles an hour on fortunately not a, a, a highway, but a, a county road. Uh, I think there were some people behind me that actually kind of stayed behind me, kind of protecting me from the people behind. But by the time, the last 20 miles, um, my helmet was soaking wet because my breath was freezing inside of the visor so I couldn't see. So as I was like rubbing it off of my face with my, my left hand. Had to, to ride with it open. A bus went actually went by me and, and filled my helmet with slush off the road. Finally pulled in here. The Rainbow Motel, which took really good care of me, gave me a a uh, covered uh, place to put in Mattis. The room is, is really comfortable, uh, a hot shower, um, a place to, to sleep, and to be honest, I uh, probably will stay here another night. And Dodge City is like at 3,000 feet, so it should be warmer, and the weather should be different. The problem is that the Midwest right now is experiencing all kinds of storms, and I'm hopefully I can get there when it's dry uh, tomorrow, and then I probably will have to spend two nights there because everything, Kansas, Oklahoma, Missouri, all of that is just being inundated by strong storms. So we're not talking like little sprinkles, which I could handle. These are huge storms. So, but they're all supposed to disappear by Wednesday, which is when I plan on taking off and continuing my trip. So I'm hopefully gonna make it to Dodge City by tomorrow night. I've been in Manitou Springs now for four days, three nights, which is really nice because I get to relax. Uh, I've had some really good food. I can strongly recommend, well, one, I really strongly recommend the Rainbow Motel because they took really, really good care of me. There's a place nearby, Amanda's Mexican Restaurant, serves great food and has a pretty good margarita too. And then down the street for breakfast is Moe's Diner, uh, which is an original kind of 40s diner, which I really like. Uh, a great mix of locals and tourists. Um, the only problem is they don't take any cards, just cash. But that's okay, they have an ATM machine inside. But great food, the, the, the staff is really friendly, and, they, and, and it's close enough to walk to, because I'm not riding my bike in the snow. Hopefully in my next video will be my experience from traveling from Manhoe Springs to Dodge City, and some of the days after that. 
I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, be great, do good, go out and explore.